One of our customers' favorite features from the Vitess and MySQL world is Planet Scale Insights. And we've brought that same tool to the Postgres world, and I want to show you a little bit of how it works. So I've got Insights open here, and what I'm looking at uh, is a P50, P99 graph for the past three hours. I can even, if I want to, zoom in. You can actually select more detailed ranges and zoom in to, to get a closer look at things. Uh, or you can just zoom back out to a particular time range. I could say past one hour, but I'm gonna go back to three hours here. And not only can you see this, and you can filter and add P99.9 .9 or filter out some things, but you can come down here and look at stats for individual queries. And this is really powerful. For example, let's say you want to identify some of your slower queries. I could come in here and I could sort by P99 latency or rows read and returned. In this case, most of my queries are performing well, but if you had poor performing ones, they'd show up here. You can expand out, you can see the spark lines for these, and you can even drill in and look at data for a specific query. So I've pulled up the info for this query and I can see it's P95 and P99. You can see, for example, I had a big spike right here. And you can go down and look at what indexes it's using. So here we can see that it's using these two indexes, but if it was missing an index some of the time, that would show up here and probably indicate that you need to go add an index. So all of this data is really cool, but there's some other tabs as well in Planet Scale Insights. So I'm gonna go back to my queries. The anomalies tab is really useful. And what we do is we will detect anomalous behavior. So if you have a baseline of how queries normally perform, we'll detect when they start going significantly slower than normal. And we had a spike right here. And we can see that it detected the percentage of slow running queries increased. Sometimes it's just one or two queries, but here it's actually a whole bunch of queries. And that's because I purposefully overloaded my database during this time. So queries got slower, but it's very cool that it kind of shows up here. We can see the performance spark lines for each of these queries that are running slow. You can also get detailed information about your QPS and how many row reads and row writes are happening at different times throughout this time window. Uh, and then also get information about if errors are occurring. So in this case, I do have some errors that are occurring. Again, some of these you can see errors spiked when I purposefully threw a bunch of load at the database, right? And was sort of overloading it purposefully for testing, right? Um, but it's very nice that you can kind of see in here what errors are happening, the counts on them, right? So this is a really incredible tool for being able to drill in on the performance of your queries if there are things that are going slower than expected, or if you feel like you need to add indexes, or if you just want to know more about what is the workload like on my database, Insights is the tool to figure those things out.